have that breeze in effect for today, and that's pushed some Atlantic moisture towards the I-75 corridor. That's where cloud cover has been a little thicker, and we've seen even a couple stray showers around the Okefenokee region, but as they move west of I-75, they just don't hold together. We have too much stable atmosphere set up across our area. A couple areas of high pressure being monitored, one to the north, another one over the Gulf. That is the one that's going to help to keep our warm pattern locked in place for another few days, while here at ground level, we'll still maintain mostly a northeast or east flow, which will help to transport some of that Atlantic moisture, and it can influence the development of clouds once we start warming things up during the day. So that does mean we'll see that blend every so often. You do get some shade as those mostly flat, lower level clouds pass through and the sun breaks out just enough to allow steady warming through the afternoon with some variation from hour to hour, depending on how much cloudiness you may have. Friday, very similar. I know the Greek Food Festival will be underway around uh, Tallahassee in the daytime and evening. So with high pressure nearby, there's no chance for rain and it will be another warm afternoon, but the evening should feel rather pleasant. And Saturday, of course, the FAMU homecoming reaches its climax with the big game at Bragg. We'll continue with favorable weather, but as you're out and about before the game, there's going to be a lot of warmth to go around as that upper high starts to build and we lose some of that wind flow from the approach of that surface-based high to the north. So it does mean warmer than average temperatures ahead for the weekend, which will likely change as we advance towards Halloween. We'll show you that momentarily in the extended forecast. Low 60s, mid 60s will be pretty common overnight tonight and highs tomorrow. Some influence from the east flow, keeping temperatures in the lower 80s in the Suwannee and the Lapa Valleys, while we will have mid 80s for many tri-state areas and in the central Big Bend. For boaters tomorrow, winds coming in straight from the east, a little elevated in speed, so a small craft advisory is up offshore in the bay, Winds will decrease by tomorrow afternoon around 5 to 12 knots. 84 to 86 for those highs next three days and morning lows will be in the lower 60s. A patch of drier air connected to that high will give us a little extra opportunity for cooling in the mornings over the weekend, but just 50s. That's just a little bit above average. Highs again, 86 to 88. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these numbers Sunday and Monday increase a little bit in further forecasting. But Tuesday, Halloween, that's when the front approaches, slips through and cools things off.